This is JSA TV, the newsroom for data center and telecom professionals. I'm Dean Perrine coming to you live on location in beautiful Fort Lauderdale, Florida at Metro Connect 2023. And I'm here with my new best friend, Mr. Dea Bayumi. Dea, did I get it right? You got it perfectly, Dean. Outstanding. Thank you. Uh, Dea is the uh, Vice President of Global Product Management at Bloom Energy. Dea, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you, Dan. Yeah, thank you for being here. So, Dea, for our viewers that don't already know, why don't you tell them a little bit about Bloom Energy and about what you do at Bloom? Great. Uh, Bloom is an innovative, purpose-driven company. Our mission is to create sustainable, clean energy and make it affordable to all. So we have non-combustion, solid oxide, fuel cell that generate electricity in a clean, resilient, predictable way using different fuels. So we have natural gas, biogas, hydrogen, trying really to bring electricity to the world in a clean, sustainable way and make it affordable and enjoyable for everyone. Dea, I love the message already. Uh, you are one of only two energy companies that I have uh, interviewed over the last day and a half. And I got to say, this feels like the few, uh, energy and and that and the power, the, the, the energy and the power that we use to power uh, our data centers and um, overall um, industry is changing pretty dramatically. And, and it feels like you guys are kind of on the on the forefront of doing just that. Yes. Bloom Energy has been around for 20 years and went public five years ago. And really, when you come and see the team, it's purpose driven, mission driven, innovative driven team trying really to change the world. We're trying to really create abundance of clean energy. Uh, definitely, there is lots of drivers from regulation, from customer needs. But if you look around when we have um, finals behind us, the sad days of COVID, yeah. with all the uh, loss of life, economic challenges, people saw blue skies around the globe. People saw clean. People enjoy energy. Energy is a must have. It's not a want anymore. So to clean, sustainable uh, and clean energy like we are right now, it's really a great mission. Mm -hmm. We enjoy it. We enjoy our customer to see it. Definitely data center is one of the key customers we have. We enjoy it. Several megawatts of installation of power with data center. We'd like to expand it and continue mm -hmm. enjoying this power that drive everything in our backbone and infrastructure but in a clean, sustainable, and a blue skies and air and everything you can breathe. Blue skies uh, sounds great to me, yes. to be honest. I'm, uh, <laughs> from, I'm coming from uh, the Chicagoland area to, to Fort Lauderdale and seeing the blue sky when yes. there was a blizzard when I left uh, yep. uh, Chicago earlier. You should move to North Carolina where you live. It's all this blue there. Are you inviting me over? Because yeah, I'll come over. I'm going to say you're welcome. <laughs> Very good. So, um, Dea, let's talk a little bit about your partnership with Airtel, another uh, company that uh, JSA knows well. Tell us a little bit about that partnership. Yes, that's actually our Indian um, partners and um, Nextel at their data center side. And this is one of the things where Bloom really excels at. We have a unique platform that we use to generate electricity. And you can see the three dimensions we're serving sustainability, so mm -hmm. non combustion, clean energy resiliency so we make sure that the power continues on whenever there is any weather or challenges in the grid and then third is predictability which means that we give the customer guaranteed performance output and also cost over a period of time okay so when we get to this indian partner and then they have a data center in a really congested area in bangalore a neighborhood named whitefield so it is a very heavy residential part and this is where bloom really shines we have lots of residential customers around. You don't want to have noisy generation of power. You don't want to have polluted generation of power, but it's a data center that need the power with resiliency. The infrastructure in India is not that great. So really it was really shiny, really um, delivery to show that it hits all the marks. I want to have power, resilient, predictable, clean in the residential area. With and no quiet. noise, no quiet. So <laughs> it was like, this is, yeah. you have to do this. That's yeah, great. yeah, yeah, so. yeah. I, I got to believe that that uh, that case study isn't an island either. I believe that's something that you can do anywhere. Correct? Yes. And we have been doing it actually across the globe. So initially, our core part, of course, in California, where we have the R&D and manufacturing, we mm -hmm. have another facility in Delaware. Our installation goes across the, the whole United States, several station north to east and California first. But we have in South Korea, in Japan, we start moving to Italy now. We have lots of parts that we work around data center in Germany, Ireland, UK. Um, but different installations are across the globe, and we're trying to really to expand that to the larger scale of how can we make this technology innovation we have affordable, available for everyone to enjoy. Dea, my next question is going to make a whole lot of sense with uh, with all of that context around it. You are speaking, participating on a panel. 
tomorrow. Yes. Um, sustainability being a big pillar of that panel. Why don't you give our viewers a little glimpse of uh, what that discussion will be all about tomorrow? Yeah, I have really great panelists with me and the discussions around really sustainability and energy resiliency or in the energy world, it will always talk about uh, security versus transition. Mm -hmm. And we always want to bring it as the power of end. We can do it all together. So sustainability does not mean that it is a very expensive solution or hard to do solution. We really need to have them all together. Um, we need to have abundance. We need to have the end together. We need to start deploying. It's not an innovation in a lab anymore. It's really something that we deployed at scale for gigawatts of power. Mm -hmm. uh, so the panel tomorrow, I really invite everyone to come. It's really have lots of great panelists there and it'll be a discussion around how we can deploy this faster and how we can get everyone to enjoy it. I love it. I intend to, uh, to listen in on that panel tomorrow. Um, but uh, so I'm, I'm going to ask you now to take out your crystal ball. If you could, if you could yes. predict the future, and I believe that you can predict the future, Dea. So uh, if you're going to predict the future, what do you see for Bloom and for the industry, say, over the next 12 to 18 months? 12 to 18 months, the future. I will say that I, I see lots of movement in the market from customers, from regulators, from the governments, from the funding to start moving towards clean solutions. It's not the PNL, the profit and loss that drive the picture anymore. That's part of the equation now yeah. that we need to have clean, sustainable. So I think in 18 months, we'll have much more deployment of sustainable clean energy. In five to six years, I hope we have abundance of energy. We shouldn't be talking about shortage of supply or fuel and energy anymore, uh, especially in the United States or Europe or really yeah. developed countries. We really should be looking for how can we enjoy this abundance and how can we move to further development of innovation of data center and other health care and other innovation and in, uh, computers and everything else. So power shouldn't be a shortage anymore and it shouldn't be a discussion. Is it clean or not? I think yeah. there'll be abundance of this clean energy everywhere. I sure hope you're right. And our Greener Data uh, book and authors sure hope that you're right as well. Dea, thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Pleasure. And uh, thank you for inviting me. A really, really honor and thrilled about being here. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. We'll see you soon.